All right, so what is up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a speech to text dialog box provided by Google. And let me show you immediately what that is. So when we click on this button, it gives you this dialog. And when I speak into it, ciao, come stai? It recognizes your voice and turns it to text. But it's a very simple app and uh, I actually liked it a lot. It was very fun to create. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So let's start as usual by closing this phone screen and going straight to our activity XML. So we go to res, layout, activity main XML. We go to the split view so we can see what's happening there. And I'm gonna just paste in my previous layout. And essentially what I did here was create a relative layout, add a button with the ID of button underscore button. I sent it in the parent. The text I added was text to spe uh, speech to text. I had a text color of white and a background tint of red. Then I added a text view right under it, which is called TV underscore text, with a layout margin of 20 dp centered in parent, and I wrote text will appear here, and I put the layout below the button with the text color of black, so it looks nice and bold. And uh, yeah, it's a very straightforward uh, XML layout. And then we need to go to our manifest file because this is going to require two permissions. One's gonna be the internet permission and the other one's gonna be the record audio permission. So these two here. So all you have to write is user's permission, Android name, Android permission, internet, and the same thing for record audio. And with that being said, we can go to our main activity and get started with the coding bit. So the first thing we want to create is a private val called RQ speech recognition. And we're gonna give that 102 as the code. So this is gonna just be the request code for later. And then here we want to write button underscore button dot set on click listener. And inside here we're gonna write ask speech input. All right, and immediately under we can start by creating that function. So private function ask speech input. And inside here we're gonna write if speech recognizer is not recognition available with the context of this. We are going to write a toast with the context of this. And we're gonna write speech recognition is not available. And essentially what this does is check if your phone is capable of actually using this speech recognition. And if it's not, it's just gonna do nothing essentially. And if it does, let's just write else. And inside here, we're gonna create an intent, which is gonna be value i, and we're gonna write intent with recognizer intent. And it's gonna be of an action recognize speech. And we need to import intent. And right after that, we're gonna write i dot put extra, and it's gonna take a recognizer intent with a extra language model. And then we're gonna write recognizer intent again, and it's gonna be language model free form. And right under, we're gonna do i dot put extra. It's gonna take the recognizer intent dot extra language, and then it's gonna take a locale, and in here, you can actually write what kind of language you want to put in, but the best one I can recommend at the moment is get uh, default, which should get your system language and it should just allow the user to speak in their system language, which hopefully is their home language and makes things easy. And then we can write I dot put extra and it's gonna take recognizer intent again and it's gonna be an extra prompt. And this is just what you want to tell the user when they get to that dialog box. So if you want them to say something or say something in particular, you can write it there. I would recommend to keep it short because it takes a lot of time to read when it's just a speech recognition. So let's just write, um, say something with an exclamation mark. So it's very straightforward, they know what to do. Then we have to write start activity for result. It's gonna take our intent as the intent and the request code of RQ underscore speech recorder. Uh, recognition. And finally, there's only one last thing to do, which is on activity result. So we're gonna do on activity result. And right under super, we can write if request code, if it's equal to RQ speech recognition, we can write and result code is equal to activity dot result okay. Then we can grab that result and write a value result, which is gonna be of data, notable type, it's gonna get the string array list extra, and it's gonna take the recognizer tent and write extra results. 
So after writing that, we just go down and we write our TV text, which is our text view from our activity main XML. And we're gonna write dot text and it's gonna equal the result at the index of zero. And it's gonna change that to a string just in case anything turns funky. And with that being said, we can start this test app and we can activate the screen. So it's gonna look exactly the same as the previous project. And when I click on speech to text, it will give you this very nice dialog box. It doesn't really recognize when I speak in English and it will try to at least translate it. But uh, if you actually speak in the language, it recognizes like, ciao, come stai? Oggi è una bella giornata. It should work perfectly fine. And that's all it takes to create a speech to text app. And uh, you might have noticed that at the bottom, there's always this dialog box that says, uh, I mean, this toast message that says, all the information you speak about will be sent to Google for uh, further processing. I did some research. I don't think there's a way to get rid of it. They said it's a system message and you need to jailbreak the phone to get rid of that. But maybe if I do a bit more research, I might be able to find a way to get rid of that because I think it's annoying that it shows it every single time that you click on it. I hope you find out this video useful. If you like it, then press the like button. Share it with your friends or anyone who wants to make his career in coding. Do you have any suggestions regarding the content? Comments section is all yours. If you want such type of informative videos, then do subscribe to the channel. See you in next video.